Family Acres. Hey guys, Matt Dean here with Dean Family Acres. Hopefully each and every one of y'all are having a bright and wonderful spring afternoon. If you're not in your farm or in your garden growing things, then hopefully you're out enjoying some nice community activities. We're out today in Lawrence, South Carolina at the Piedmont Blues Festival. What have you been up to? There's a lot of different activities and events in and around South Carolina. I know there are some very unique ones. This one's certainly unique and I don't think there's anything else like it. Some pretty unique artists that have come from Lawrence County and or lived here. Pink Anderson being one of those. If you've never heard of them, look them up. That's actually where Pink Floyd got part of their name. Hope each and every one of y'all enjoy this video and exactly what we're doing this beautiful weekend. Blooming Metropolis of Cross Anchor, and it happens to be where Jack Galbach shows up on the 1940 census. And um, 1931, he went to Charlotte and made this record. And there's one existing copy of this record, and I sure would like to find copy number two. This is called the Rolando Blues. All My name is Hunter Holmes. I live here in Lawrence, South Carolina. I was born and raised within a few miles of here, so happy to happy to be here. It'll be worth it. 
called the Cotton Mill Colic, and it was uh, recorded by a Gastonia man named David McCarn, and he recorded this in 1929 about his, his, his thoughts on working in the Lore Cotton Mill in Gastonia. It turned out to be a pretty big hit for him. I guess a lot of people thought the same thing about working in a cotton mill. thing is after this was a hit and after it faded back out a couple months later he went right back to work at the Lore Cotton Mill. Well when you buy clothes on easy terms the collectors treat you like measly worms. One dollar down and then the Lord knows if it don't make a payment they'll take your clothes. When you go to bed, you can't sleep Cause you owe so much at the end of the week No use to call it, we're all that way Pecking down the door till they get our pay I'm gonna starve, everybody will Cause I can't make a living at a cotton mill When you go to work, you work like the devil At the end of the week, you're not on the level When payday comes and you pay your rent When you're through, you don't about fat back meat or pinto bean now and then you get turn up green no use to colic and no use to rave we'll never rest till we're in our grave i'm gonna starve everybody will cause i can't make a living at a cotton mill twelve dollars a week that's all we get how in the heck can we live on that when i've got a wife and four Kids, we all have to sleep on two bedsteads. Got patches on my britches and the holes in my hat. They ain't had a shave since the wife got fat. No use to call it every day at noon. The kids are getting to crying in a different tune. I'm gonna starve everybody, will, cause I can't make a living in a cotton mill. Well, they'll run a few days and then they'll stand. Just to keep down the working man. We can't make it and we never will as long as we're staying in a lousy mill. 
poor get poor and the rich are getting rich. If I don't starve, I'm a son of a gun. No use to colic and no use to rave, we'll never rest till we're in our grave. I'm gonna starve, everybody will, cause I can't make a living in a cotton mill. I'll play one called the Freight Train Ramble. This was recorded by a man from South Carolina named Jimmy Tarleton, who was the first uh, hillbilly recording artist to use a lap steel, what they called at the time, Hawaiian guitar. And now we have, um, you know, the steel guitar in, in its multiple forms, whether it's a dobro used in bluegrass music or a pedal steel guitar used in country and western music. The steel guitar is pretty synonymous with country music at this day and age, and you can trace it all back to number one, which was Jimmy Tarleton, who was from Darlington, South Carolina, but traveled up through the upstate and uh, taught several upstate musicians how to play steel guitar as well. This is his song, uh, The Freight Train Ramble. And I don't know, uh, we haven't used this yet, but I reckon it'll go. Hey, that was the easiest to have. What did you guys think of that? No, Tell me, mama, who did you ever love, boy? Hey, hey, hey. Tell me, mama, who did you ever love? Well, I can give you more love than any you've ever heard. I got the Fred Train Ramble. Got box cars. Hey, hey, hey. 
and the bullet went right through his head. Uh, people came from miles around to see if that bull was really dead. Well, they telegrammed down south to his mother. She was all carried away in her tears. Pushing that boy's coffin, and that fool had done disappeared because he was a traveling man. Well, I said there was a traveling man. Well, he was no traveling this man that ever was in that. Their purpose was to chase old Boone. They chased him from 6 o'clock in the morning until 7 the next afternoon. The Popeye rascal could run so fast that fire came from his heels. And he burned up the cotton and scorched all the corn. He cut roads in the farmer's fields just a traveling man where the sudden it was. He was an old traveling man that ever was in that land. had to walk was about two miles and a quarter. When he got there, got his water. He started back but stumbled and fell down. He ran back to his place, got himself another bucket, caught the water before it hit the ground, cause he could say, traveling man, well, a sudden was a traveling man. He was a more traveling this man than ever was in that land. He traveled and put his own four miles around, and he never got caught, never got work till the police shot him down. Titanic ship the night it was sinking down. He was sitting out there by the port side with his head just a hanging down. Well, when this fool jumped overboard, everybody said he must be a fool. But 15 minutes after he jumped in, we're shooting dice in Liverpool for just a traveling man. Well, a sudden was. This is called the Spinning Room Blues. This is recorded by two South Carolinians named Dorsey and Howard Dixon in 1936. They were uh, born in South Carolina, lived in Woodruff, lived in Greenville. I don't have a record of them ever living in Lawrence County, but um, I still claim them as homeboys anyway. Until they settled in East Rockingham, North Carolina, up closer to Charlotte and recorded for the RCA Victor Company, 1936 to 1938. And uh, just like a lot of these other folks, went immediately back to work in a cotton mill. But he wrote this, Dorsey Dixon wrote this about his, uh, his uh, work in the spinning room. <clears throat> this slow because if I don't, it turns into a snowball rolling downhill like in Wally Coyote and Roadrunner or something. It gets where I can't control it. <laughs> so if I start slow, maybe we'll end somewhere decent. Run out you got If you don't mind Put another spinner on your side Wait a minute fella Now tell me where you going Don't you hear the dog On the spinning room A road Can't fool me Cause I'm on the scout Get back on the jump Again you're gonna slip out Well there's soap and water Standing in the middle of the floor And the scrubbers that have been done They're gonna get more You better like Madden Have a run 
fun fit. Back to look out, cause your foot in my slip. Said, wait a minute, fella, now tell me where you're going. Don't you feel the dog on spinning room or all you can't fool me, cause I'm on the scout. Get back on the dummy and you're gonna slip out. And here they go, they're always in a hurry Cause they can't go slow, running up and down the alley Like a wild raccoon, slinging empty bombers all over the room Said, wait a minute, Phil, tell me where you going Don't you hear the dog on spinning room or roar Can't fool me, cause I'm on the scout Get back on the job again, you're gonna slip out Spinning room blues, wait a minute, I better not tell me where you're going. Don't you give a dog on spinning room or you can't fool me, cause I'm on the scout getting back on the job again. You're gonna slip out. Thank you. Yeah, that, uh, thank you. That doesn't get much more local than songs about working a cotton mill. Anybody out there ever work in a cotton mill here? There's some hands raised, love it. Some lint head pride out there in the audience. Let's see. I think I got time for a couple more. They seem to have a version of John Henry. The song about the railroad man who drove his hammer so hard he beat a sting drill. And this is, uh, I think this is relevant to play today because Pink Anderson when interviewed, he said it was the first song that he learned how to play on the guitar, and it was taught to him by his uncle in Lawrence, South Carolina, named Joe Wick. And I can't find a trace of Joe Wick living in Lawrence around that time period, but I, I imagine that guitar lesson, probably that, that exchange probably happened within, I think it's safe to say, probably happened within a square mile of where we're sitting right now. Whether it was right over here on what was formerly Back Street, which was the Black Business District, or maybe over on the Hampt, uh, Hunters Court neighborhood, which there are still Andersons living in that neighborhood today. So I love the thought of uh, you know a young Pink Anderson and Joe Wick sitting around circa 1910 learning this song. Really close to where we're sitting now. I think that's pretty special. <laughs> And he played slide with his pocket knife, which is how I'm going to do it.
Thank you. Uh, I'll do one more because I pr probably can't get that guitar back in tune. <laughs> I could, but y'all don't want to sit here and listen to me struggle. <laughs> You've done that enough. I'll play one. Um, now the trouble is here, I, I sometimes I try to play this song, which is called The Train That Carried My Girl From Town, and what ends up happening is I wind up playing John Henry. <laughs> so well, I'll try to do it. See, that's John Henry. <laughs> Come on now. Super excited that we're having this festival here, the Piedmont Blues and Roots Festival. The first of what I hope will be many in Lawrence. It's been a long time coming, been in the works for quite a while, and uh, and the musical legacy we're celebrating is you know 100 years in the making with uh, celebrating the original Piedmont Blues artists that were born and raised here in Lawrence County. So I'm happy to be a small part of it here. So our first annual Piedmont Blues and Roots Music Festival here in downtown Lawrence was a success. We are happy to be able to get this one under our belts and start planning for next year. We also have to give a, a huge shout out to Ten at the Top and the Hughes Investments uh, Community Vibrancy Grant, which was the seed money for this year's event. And we are looking forward to growing this event for the city, for downtown. We were so happy to welcome in all of our artists from as far away as Chicago and uh, had just a great time celebrating the Piedmont Blues and the history that it has here to Lawrence, South Carolina. Hey guys, Matt Dean here, coming to you from Lawrence, South Carolina. If you've never been to Lawrence, you definitely should check it out. A lot of things they've been doing on the square and pretty much have a special band every single Friday night all through the entire summer, as well as other activities. Today we're actually enjoying the first annual Piedmont Blues Festival, a little bit unique uh, in regards to type of music and that kind of thing, if you've never heard of it, definitely check it out. Thank you guys for watching and hope you have a blessed day. Well, folks, I want to tell you about a man named Boone. His home was down in Tennessee. He made his living stealing anything that he could see. Hot five rascals run so fast that his feet never stayed in the road. If ever a train passed, no matter how fast that boy would always get on board to see what was a traveling man. Traveling man. Well, he was an old traveling man that ever was in that land. 
right. Yeah. Only shot him with the rifle, and the bullet went right through his head. Uh, people came from miles around to see if that boy was really dead. When they telegrammed down south to his mother, she was all carried away in her 